Ninth straight week, by the way, ninth straight week in a row. This, this happened last week. This has uh, the markets, oil prices going up, stock prices going up in oil industries. As, a, as a, a, looks like Baker Hughes has cut rig count again by 26, 26, and that's the ninth straight week. You know, we are playing right into, look, we have to cut rigs. I get this, but we're playing right in to the agenda that we have allowed OPEC to set for us and our oil production. It's amazing to me. I find it utterly amazing that we here in America are still, are still allowing OPEC to set our agenda when it comes to oil. I, I am just blown away. We should be calling all the shots as far as oil. They're afraid of losing market share. Guess what? We should be gobbling up market share, particularly now that we can export crude oil. We should be gobbling it up. But no, they're not going to cut production because they know we are a lot weaker than they are, and we are going to cut. Why? Well, first off, we're not united like they are. So, you know, you've got a lot of different oil companies dictating what's going to happen. There's no unity there. And they know that we are likely to cave. Well, not likely. We've already caved. And we continue to do that. So we have cut rig count, slowing jobs. I would right now, as one of the big oil APE, one of the big oil lobbyists, I'm sorry, but I would start a massive campaign marketing campaign saying that we're actually going to ramp up production and we're going to gain as much market share as we possibly can. That's what we need to do. It's exactly what we need to do. We need to try to control. Let's get on offense for once here. Can we just get on offense and not continue to play this defense and playing into everybody's hands? We've got conservatives, Republicans constantly playing into the agenda of the Democrats, oil companies here in America. We are so used to the agenda being set by OPEC since the 1970s. We're still following along with OPEC. Amazing to me.